Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be giving you guys an overview of all things GCSEs relating to medicine. Like what are good GCSEs? What's considered bad GCSEs? Can I get into medicine with like my set of GCSEs and stuff like that? So that is what this video is gonna be all about. I think people are always quite concerned about GCSEs because they're not always a true reflection of how hard you worked or like what you're capable of. I know that my GCSEs, I'll put them on screen. I got five A stars, five A's, two B's. Um, they're not always like a true reflection of what you can achieve and you're kind of like, oh, can I get in with this? Like honestly, any set of GCSEs that you guys have, you absolutely can get in. Like any set of GCSEs that you have, you can get into medicine because there's always a way. When there's a will, there's a way. And I'll show you with this video, I'll kind of talk about all the different avenues that you can get into medicine with. So the first question, what are the minimum requirements in terms of GCSEs that you need to get into medicine? So um, having a look online, it seems like you need a minimum of five passes. After doing some research into the entry requirements, I actually think five Bs is probably more than minimum. So at Edinburgh, you just need above a B in biology, chemistry, English and maths. At Kent, it's really similar. You just need an A star to be in English, math, biology and chemistry um, or, you know, in double science. And then in Birmingham, when you look on the student room, almost every single applicant has lots of A stars. I couldn't quite find the exact entry requirements on their website, but I think you need a lot of A stars for Birmingham. And then at UCL, you just need above a B in English, maths, and they do accept resets too. And then the next question, what are good GCSEs for medicine? So the better your grades are, the better you, the more options you have. Just try and get the best results that you can because it will open up so many doors um, of where you can apply. I'd say that my GCSEs were average. I don't I don't really know. There's no statistics. There's nowhere to find like information what the average medical applicant's grades. I think five A stars is an average set, but that's literally just my guess. The best thing that you can do, the best resource I've seen to compare your like GCSEs and see if they'll be good or not is this thing called the medical school comparison tool. I wish I used this properly like when I was applying, but basically, you can select four different medical schools and you can like compare every single part of the application. You can compare GCSEs, UCAT, interview, BMAT, everything. You can even you can even compare like um tuition fees. Obviously everywhere it's like 9k unless you're international. It even has like where you email them if you need if you have more questions. It's really really good. Like definitely use it. So yeah that that question in terms of can I get into medicine with bad GCSEs? Absolutely you can. I'm actually going to touch on four different things that are available to try and help people with like bad GCSEs. So the first one is widening participation. I've actually made a whole entire video about this. I think it's I haven't edited the video yet but i'm gonna put it here when i eventually edit it and um that video is pretty much just full of different summer schools opportunities taste days schemes things available to help people with like um a low income background if you've got maybe bad gcse's if your parents didn't go to uni if you come from um just in an, an area or postcode that didn't have a lot of people go to uni stuff like that if you're in that um criteria then watch that video because there'll be so many different opportunities for you to get into medicine so many of those schools that i mentioned in that video they give you um a guaranteed interview some of them if you complete the summer school or experience or they'll give you a lower offer so instead of three a's at a level all you have to get is like abb or aab and stuff like that the next thing that's available is um foundation medicine degrees so you guys might have come across this before but it's pretty much just if you really didn't get a good set of gcse then you could, this is literally this type of medicine course is made for you guys because it's made for people that didn't get a good set of GCSEs yeah so um med schools like Aberdeen, Bristol, Cardiff, Dundee, Edge Hill, Hull York, Keele and there's so many more oh there's literally loads oh my god I didn't know there was that many so normally foundation um degrees are six years instead of like the average five years um so they are a bit longer but it's because you have a foundation year that foundation year is meant to like ease you into medicine and like not like just push you like at, into the deep end. So they're just made for people who maybe didn't get the best set of GCSEs, best set of A-levels. The entry requirements for A-levels are normally like um, BBB, if not lower than that. But if you didn't get amazing grades and you still want to do medicine, there is always like reapplying or doing another year. If it's in terms of your A-levels, then there's so many people in my year group who did a gap year and redid their A-levels or like um, so many graduates, so many people who've done like a different degree. I know that's not always people's first choice, route into medicine 
but it is an option just have it at the back of your mind that like there's always a way like you're not gonna have to give up on your dream of doing medicine just because you didn't get the grades like there's always a way okay and i wanted to finish off this video with just some like general tips on um how to approach your gcses or just tips for like applying to medicine in terms of your it's i don't know how to describe it but just tips for your gcses in terms of applying for medicine if that makes sense <laughs> this one i cannot emphasize enough i feel like not enough people do this but make use of online resources a lot of people send me questions and i understand that they're like worried and they're thinking like maybe i'll have the perfect answer and i genuinely don't i just google stuff and then tell them what the answer is but make use of online resources the medic portal is your best friend sign up to their newsletter give them your email sign your life away to the medic portal they'll give you all the information that that you need if you're not sure what the answer is to something in terms of applying to medicine and stuff just email someone there's always an email online that you can find that medical school comparison tool that i mentioned earlier has emails for every single medical school so it doesn't matter where you have a question for okay last but not least start looking at online work experience so with covid i don't know when things are going to be back in back to normal in terms of work experience i don't know if they already are or if it hasn't happened yet but there are so many different options for online work experience brighton sussex medical school has a really good online work experience thingy that i've heard i've, I've spoken to a couple of people who've used it and they've said it's good also there's one called observe gp i've heard that's good as well but there is a website, I found a website that has actually like a list of like loads and loads of online work experiences. So I'll put a link to that as well. Overall, GCSEs are only one part of your application. So don't be too sad if like you didn't get the best GCSEs in the world. Like there's your UCAT, there's your interview, there's your personal statement, which you've got loads of time to prepare for. There's people who have gotten into medicine with like, see on it people who have failed their gcses have gotten into medicine like honestly you guys you can do it it's just a matter of researching see which medical schools are good options i'll actually put a list of what medical schools are good options here it changes every single year so this is correct as of 2021 but 2022 it could change 2023 it could change as well and um, as i mentioned earlier if you are someone in you know the category of low income background or parents didn't go to uni honestly widening your participation summer schools those sorts of things they are your best friend because they're made for you guys so if you can do your research on them apply to those as soon as you can um a lot of summer schools and stuff like that and like winding participation applies to um year 12s so this might be a bit early for gcses but if you're a year 12 watching this definitely start looking into that because that could help you get into medicine with a lower offer or a guaranteed interview so definitely look into that but yeah i think that's it for this video i feel like i've missed something out I don't know and i'm also worried that my hair's been super frizzy throughout the whole thing so i might have to refilm but anyway thank you so much for watching comment down below what other videos you'd like me to film um but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye